rheological model of concrete. There are two rheological models used to represent the rheological behavior of concrete. One is the Binger model representation and second one is the Tatarzel model representation. Before looking into the models, we need to look into a smaller concept regarding the fluid state of concrete. As we are relating concrete study with the fluid study, we need to start explaining the concept of Newton's law of viscous flow. As per Newton's law of viscous flow, shear stress is directly proportional to shear strain when we study the forces between the layers of a fluid. Shear stress is hence equal to constant into shear strain. Those fluid that obeys Newton's law of viscous flow is what we call as Newtonium liquids. The constant obtained by the above relation is a physical constant. That represents the characteristic of material that is under consideration to study. Now we'll move into the Binger model for rheology of concrete. Concrete is a non-Newtonian fluid whose rheological properties is represented by Binger model. When we relate with the concrete material, the constant is related to shear rate at which the concrete is measured and the shear history of the same. In the figure, you see a diagram between the rate of shear and the shear stress. When the concrete is studied at a lower shear value, that is the practical case of fresh concrete, it is observed that the linear curve obtained when drawing shear stress to shear strain do not pass through the origin. Instead, it starts at a particular value from the x-axis as shown. The reset formed at x-axis is the minimum shear stress value that is existing within the fresh concrete before it starts to flow. It is the minimum shear stress below which the concrete will not flow. Now we consider an experimental condition where the concrete can stay in a pile while conducting a slump test. This means a minimum stress value for this concrete will make the concrete to flow. This minimum stress value of concrete to start flowing is called as the yield stress and it is designated by the symbol tau naught. So this minimum shear value tau naught will be different for different conditions of concrete. First condition of concrete where the concrete is a stiff mix, the tau naught value is zero while there is a minimum shear value for the third case. The collapsed condition shows it has a very high shear value. Simplest flow equation for concrete can be given as tau is equal to tau naught plus mu gamma bar. Here tau naught is a yield value that indicates the cohesion of the material. If the mu represent the plastic viscosity that is a constant value giving dimensions of viscosity and this relation is what we call as Binger model. In a Binger model the parameters that represent the flow properties of material are tau naught and mu. Binger fluid which is a non-Newtonian fluid which is most frequently used for the study of concrete. In Binger model a single point test like workability only gives a single value but to form a line we need minimum of two points as shown in the graph. So we need to perform two or more tests like VB test in order to get the value for the parameters and draw the graph. The second model representation is the Tattersall model for rheology of concrete. The Tattersall model overcomes the shortcoming of Binger model. The Tattersall test measures the mobility characteristic of the fluid that provide us a two point value of shear conditions. In this figure, we have shear stress and rate of shear value. In this method, the power required to run the concrete mixer at different speeds are calculated. After this, the torque T is calculated by dividing the power by speed. Hence, Tattersall provided a relation as torque T is equal to G plus Hn, where N is the number of RPM, T is the torque, G and H are constants proportional to the cohesion and plastic viscosity of the mixture. It has been observed that two different mixtures with same G and H value shows identical value for consistency VB time compacting factor test. Comparison of Binger model and Tattersall model of concrete. Compared to Binger model, the yield stress is not well defined in the case of Tattersall model. Second important difference is that the flow curve obtained in Tattersall model is not linear except in some of the portions.